Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to add icons and images into your mind manager for Mac mind maps. Now icons just serve as a great little visual cue within your map. Some of them will even have some functionality that allows you to, for example, track task, progress or priority, where images are purely a visual cue, a visual addition to your map to make it a bit more personal to you, impactful and potentially display some relevant information that you're sharing with colleagues or just want to have on hand for yourself. So the simplest way to add icons is to come up to this top toolbar here, ensure you've got the insert menu selected and you'll see you've got this icon pop out here. This presents you with some of the most commonly used icons and to add them you simply click on it and you'll see it's popped out in the highlighted topic here. Icons like this that are in within a certain category, so if I come back to this problem to show you, so things like priority, progress and flags, you can add in and then alter within the topic. So for example, if I click on this icon, you'll see the color changes and it changes to a two, to a three, to a four and so on. This is just really useful if there are certain flags that you use or certain priority markers that you use that as you update your workflow and as you work through your, your workload for the week, you can just continuously update these without having to remove an icon and put it back in. If you want access to more icons, then you can simply come up to this top menu again, select the pop out and click more icons. And you'll see you get this sidebar that has the full icon library. So here are some of the most commonly used, a nice selection, but you'll see you've got all these categories here to choose from. Some of these will have the same functionality we just demonstrated where you can click on it within the topic to change it. Others will be standalone items that are just there for to add a little visual cue. Now to remove icons, ensure that you've got the relevant topic highlighted. So for example, I'm going to click on icons here and I can right click on the marker itself on the little icon and I can say remove or remove all markers if there's more than one in there. And you'll see that gets rid of that icon. Now, adding images is a similar process. We come up to this top toolbar, select this image drop down, and you'll see you either have the option to add a standard image from file, which means adding a, uh, an image from your computer, or from the library, which is from the Mind Manager library here. As you'll see, these are similar to icons, but they tend to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more advanced and complex. And again, you've got a whole selection of these to choose from. So again, if I wanted to add one of these, I simply click on the relevant topic, and I say add image, so we'll add this one of this road and it appears there and then once it's in there I can click on the image itself and I can resize it or if I wanted to change the alignment I can come over to the sidebar again select format and you'll see at the bottom here I have the option to change the image alignment so for example we'll say bottom center and the image goes to the bottom of the topic and the text therefore pops up above it to remove images simply click on the image itself and hit backspace a shortcut you can use to add images is shift command i and this will open up the pictures on your computer and again if i select this picture of my dog looking very unhappy after a bath select open it automatically inserts into the topic where i can then choose to resize it if i wanted to hopefully that's all you need to start adding images and icons to your mind manager mind maps for more mind manager templates tutorials and training visit biggerplate.com